marijuana thing is such a big, such a big thing. I think medical should happen, right? Don't we agree? That was Donald Trump at a rally last year being reasonable about states legalizing marijuana. But the drug war is something the candidates seldom talk about. They should. The war is an utter failure. It's cost billions. It creates vicious drug gangs, makes criminals out of Americans that just want to alter their minds with weed instead of booze. America locks up now more people than any other country. Yet drug use stays the same. The media rarely ask the candidates about this, even at the Republican debate in Colorado. Colorado, where marijuana was newly legal. There were no questions about marijuana legalization. Paul Chabot says this should be among the top five issues. Paul worked at the drug czar's office for George W. Bush and Bill Clinton, so he and I are on opposite sides of this debate. But we agree that the war is important, and they're not talking about it. Yeah, you're absolutely right, John. If you go into the home of any average family today, almost to a household you will find somebody that knows of a drug, alcohol-related incident that has devastated their family or their neighbor's family. So I think it's critical that our presidential candidates address this issue front and center in the debates. And it's also up to the media to probe them consistently. The media doesn't even ask. No. I mean, half the media uses these drugs. Why don't they ask? I think because we've become numb to it as a society, uh, it has become part of our mainstream culture and almost taboo to talk about. Hillary Clinton's on your side. She's long been a drug warrior. We need to take these people on. They are often connected to big drug cartels. This is her speech from years ago that brought her criticism because she called the kids super predators. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. So she took grief for that. She apologized for using that term. But she and you are together. You, you want to just keep fighting the war, keep going, do more even. Well, first off, I, we don't see it as, as a war. We see it as a cancer. You got to treat it. Today, we're absent, and that's largely because this administration has ignored the issue, and we're seeing the fallout in our communities. It's been illegal all these years. It doesn't make it better. It doesn't stop people from getting hooked. Well, it makes them criminals. Well, we're never going to stop it. But look, we should not right. be punishing. We should not be punishing right. um, those low-level addicts. They need help. You are. No, we now have millions of addicts running across this country, not fearful of going to prison or jail, not able to get treatment. And because of that, we see property crime, violent crime is on the rise. And look, most crime is drug related, either somebody under the influence but or breaking something. It's not cigarette related. Well, no, but cigarettes aren't an intoxicant. But the drive for the nicotine, the government says it's just as addictive as heroin and cocaine. There are no cigarette gangs or Budweiser gangs because it's legal. There actually are cigarette gangs, a $5 billion black That's market industry. The government taxes it too much, but well, regardless, they are much still... less dangerous than the drug gang. Even today, with state after state legalizing weed, Hillary won't go there. Here she is at a CNN debate. Are you ready to take a position tonight? No. I mean, come on. Well, look, it's a big issue. It's a huge issue, but her, her boss, uh, Barack Obama, decided not to enforce federal drug laws in a number of states, and now we're seeing the ramifications of that. I think that this... The ramifications that people are not being thrown in jail? No, that we have more people driving high on our highways, increased societal abuse. We look at Denver, what Colorado... increased abuse? In Colorado, since marijuana legalization, highway deaths in Colorado are at near historic lows. Well, uh, that's not all the reporting that we're seeing coming out of uh, Denver. The Rocky Mountain High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area Program has put out an annual report consistently talking about the dangers. Yes, absolutely. Traffic accidents are down. One out of every five kids today in our schools are using illicit drugs. That's nothing we should be proud of. Trump was once reasonable about the drug war. Uh, in 1990, he said, you have to legalize drugs to win that war. You have to take the profit away from these drug czars. 